Natural brushes are made from natural hairs, like hog, sable, or squirrel. What you'll notice with them is that they have a certain stiffness to them. And that's really important because what they're designed to do is to scoop the paint. So if we load up a brush here, you can see that it really holds the brush. It's not being absorbed by the fibers. So if we lay that down here, what you'll notice is that then you also have really these distinct brush marks. So that is a really a primary advantage working with natural bristles. I like to scrub and scrape when I'm especially building up my under layers and that's doing a lot to the end of the fibers. The ends kind of break off, but it still has a structure to the brush. It holds itself really well. Let's take a look at the synthetic brushes here. These are made with Taclon or nylon, things that mimic natural hairs. And you can see here, as I make my marks, you don't get quite as much texture as you, as you got with the natural brushes. And so that makes them really good for creating washes. Now, I, I also really like the precision of these synthetic brushes as well. So for details, blending, glazes, things like that, that can be really helpful. You can see though, as, if I go like this, if I kind of scrub, it's really kind of losing its shape. It's kind of starting to break down. And over time, this is what's going to happen. You can see how those ends have really kind of splayed out. And that makes these synthetic brushes much less usable over time. So what I've learned then is that I reserve my scumbling and my scraping for the natural brushes here. And then when I need fine controlled marks and washes, then I will bring out my uh, synthetic brushes. So try out what works best for you. And I think having a blend of them available while you're working is really the best way to learn the difference in what is going to work with your style of painting.